me, Stormy, and I am recording this week from down here in St. Paul, Minnesota, and I'm actually right outside of a coffee shop slash Target situation, which is actually kind of cool, because in Colorado, we don't have them combined like that. You can get a Starbucks in a Target, but this is like two combined things, so it's really interesting, but it is a lot noisier during our weekly video this week, because there's a lot going on. It's a coffee shop. It's downtown. There's shops. Patina's over there, so lots of cool stuff happening down here in St. Paul, uh, Minnesota. So if you've got a spot um, in the Minneapolis, Minnesota, St. Paul area that I should check out, Burnsville area, just put it in the description box down below. Or if you're in this area, send a shout out so I can say hey to you. All right, guys, let's check out what's going on this week. This is the week of August 6th. So first of all, when we get right to Monday, just coming into the week, we've actually got some beautiful energy, and I mean that very much so because it's all Venetian energy. Venus is going to be moving into the sign of Libra on Monday, which is first of all, first of all, very relationship based energy. Libra is the sign of partnership. Venus is the ruler of um, Libra. So we have a natural romantic love partnership harmony kind of energy. Now it's not going to be strictly thrilling and romantic for everybody, but what it could be this week is that you find some solutions or there's some harmony that comes into a relationship for you. Um, you could also find yourself in a different position with things financially. Now I will tell you too, with romance being a thing that is still on the table, if you're single, you're looking for somebody to blow into your life, somebody could, but I would tell you if it's new, if it's fresh, if it's something like that, take it very, very easy because we are still in retrograde and we've got another planet taking a retrograde this week as well. But if you are already in a relationship, um, I think you get a little bit of help this week. I think that this definitely helps out the relationship zone. Now, generally, Venus and Libra is considered, like I said, a very good energy for romance, finance, and things like that. But here's the other part that I think about it. Venus is going to be in a trine to Mars, who's in Aquarius, which is a very independent energy, right? So that puts us in a position this week, I think, in all of our relationships and in all of our dealings to consider this week where you also need to maintain and hold your own individuality, right? Yes, we have this beautiful opportunity for merging, for doing life together, for doing business together, because part Partnerships are more than just romance, right? But you have to find out and remember where you also have to hold your own. Now, the other thing I think about Mars and Aquarius, even though it's a retrograde energy and so Mars is kind of our mojo's a little bit slowed down, um, Mars could definitely still, because both of these energies, both Venus and Mars are in air signs, it could kind of kick up your sex drive a little bit this week, which is phenomenal because we really haven't had a lot of forward motion to get that like oomph of passion going. So this might be something that's actually trying to take you in a new direction, but it stirs you a little bit different. So I look forward to seeing how that shows up in your life this week. Now, the last part of what happens with this Venus interaction this week that I think is very, very important is that because we have all these retrograde plans and because Venus is going to be opposite Chiron, I do wonder if this is a week where in business, in finance, in just within your own heart, if there aren't some things in partnerships, past relationships, um, something like that where we're undiscovering or rediscovering some damage that either we caused in past relationships, things we need to shed, like I don't really trust, I'm not really willing to be vulnerable, um, I'm not willing to be vulnerable in my business partnerships, things like that, or places where maybe even you were unintentionally hurt. Whatever it is, I feel like there's just something that's kind of digging into that Chiron energy, into your identity around what you believe about love and money and partnership diplomacy things like that for some of you this could actually be a very busy legal week as well so kind of keep that in mind okay now here on Tuesday we've got Uranus turning retrograde now Uranus is in the sign of Taurus but this officially puts us at a total of six planets that are going backward at once so seriously if you've been feeling like nothing is moving forward oh my goodness you are not only telling the truth but you're really telling the truth a lot now here's the thing though while it feels like like nothing's moving forward and it feels like nothing's happening everything is happening everything is happening okay I think one of the things to keep in mind um, is that whatever Uranus is doing whether he's forward or he's back 
forward or backwards. He can tend to make things a little unexpected, a little weird, a little bit out of the norm, right? And as he's facing backwards, instead of having this outer explosion of things around you getting different, it creates an internal um, desire to break free. So you may get you may get that spark of inspiration that happens here, and now you have the um, oh, I lost the word. You have the um, the ability and the desire to also move something forward. Now I do want to point out the other significance um, this week. Because Uranus will just be fresh to coming into his retrograde, it almost makes him look like he's standing still in the sky, so it's very significant. And for Uranus to do any amount of standing still is pretty significant, right? Now, here's an interesting thing that I think is also happening for us to consider this week, is that Venus is actually going to be quincunx to Uranus, and it'll be an exact on Thursday. As well, Venus is going to square Saturn on Thursday, as well so here's the thing that's gonna make things interesting in romance and it may provide some beautiful shakeups that you need but it also may put you in a position where you feel like your energy I even think financially this week you feel like your energy is stuck your new ideas your new creation might be stuck and or you see new interactions happening in your life depending on where these are heading in your chart from unexpected places right now with Venus being in a square to Saturn, I do want you to remember to just be prepared for some difficulties, for something that is not as hard, um, that is harder, is not as easy. Um, and the other thing with Saturn energy that I think is always important to bring in or to consider is that it brings a sense of um, reservation. It can be a sense that's kind of cold or is not as opening and welcoming. So people may even be trying to come your way and you're a little bit distant. Um, you know, you're not exactly opening up emotionally so they, they don't don't know if they can really connect with you things like that so kind of keep that in mind okay then we get here to the 11th and we've got this partial solar eclipse that's happening in Leo the videos up check out all of the details around that but this will end eclipse season for us which is phenomenal I don't know about you guys but I'm ready for some okay let's stop getting shifted left and right all of the time so there's gonna be this beautiful energy that happens there then when we get to Sunday on the 12th Mars is going to continue its retrograde cycle and it's going to move though from Aquarius back up into Capricorn. Now we've got the last dose of a little bit of a feel here of what it's like to go, okay, wait, I have to relook at my actions, my attitudes, my motives. Why am I doing what I'm doing in the structures around me? It's a very responsible energy. So I hope that you spend the rest of the week, I hope you spend that solar eclipse time looking at where your resets can be, looking at where you can change your perceptions around things that you've been thinking because there are some old ideas for absolutely every single one of us that have to do a lot with partnerships of every variety that need to be scrapped right now and if we're going to be able to move forward. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens and I'm telling you what, the political climate is going to be super interesting around this um, solar eclipse as well. So watch the video, I talk all about that and I have to tell you guys it's been really nice and surprising for me as well to find out how much through the study of astrology um, and this eclipse season, I really feel adept at interpreting political charts and political events and things like that. So I look forward to kind of seeing, you know, how that plays out and, and what else unfolds around that too. So I love you guys so much. Don't forget to get signed up for the discounted astrology 101 and 102 classes. There's only 25 spaces in there. And if you haven't watched the video as to why it's so incredibly discounted, make sure that you check out the video in the playlist but get signed up you can take astrology 101 for $40 or take them both for $75 in September only so the um, 101 class will be in September if you decide to take both we'll go September until November that's 10 weeks of classes so watch the video get yourself signed up only 25 spots and I can't wait to work with you guys okay sorry the color is a little bit funny this week you guys but hopefully you got a lot out of the details and say hi one more time to St. Paul Minnesota all right Okay, you guys, I love you so much. The next time I see you, I will be recording from Springfield, Ohio. Bye, guys. Have a great week.